Hi, everybody. Welcome to First Realty School, a niche education system. We are not only offer state license exam, but also for top sales training program. Now, let's start today's class. In chapter one, Training. Uh, I would like to start with uh, over bankers uh, top sell agents video. Let's give uh, give us a general idea what is the real estate salesperson. Hi, I'm Christoph Chu, and I've been selling real estate now for 22 years here at Cobalt Banker in Beverly Hills. You know, growing my business has been a, a process, and you know, I learned early on it takes making contacts each and every day, being part of the social world, in today's world also being part of social media. And for me, business is about learning. My coach taught me early on in real estate, you're paid in direct relations to your skills and your abilities. So that's why when I first heard about social media, I learned these skills up front way back in the beginning. And today, I'm helping new agents in my office and my company in learning how to use social media. We launched our new internet site a year ago. We literally were getting about 500 hits a month. Now with the use of social media and all the different platforms, we're getting about 26,000 unique visitors each and every month searching my Christoph2.com website and looking for properties here in Beverly Hills. Basically, everything we're doing now is all about video because that's how people are finding things. You go to Google, you find my videos about our local communities, events, activities, homes, so why not use the main sources for social media and the internet and be on a platform where people can find you and see what you've got to sell. I love being in real estate here in Beverly Hills, being part of the Cobalt Banker brand, and being Generation Blue. And if I haven't met you before, come introduce yourself, and I have met you, I look forward to seeing you again. Pretty cool. Although it's, uh, I believe it's over five, ten years video, so... As you can tell, the cell phone is kind of old models. Uh, anyway, uh, the reason I give you guys this video is that you understand what is a top sales, what is a salesperson in the real estate market. The, of course, the dressing, the outfit as professional is very important so that your custom they are not likely to bargain your commission or ask him for a referral feedback, that type of stuff. Now let's go <coughs> to the chapter one on the page one. Okay, all our material was very concise, only six, six three pages, uh, which covers primarily on the sales license, however, it does cover also as well the broker license. And it includes California's state exam as well as at least Nevada state exam so far. So all our material, even including this picture, are made by myself. Okay, before we start the chapter one introduction to real estate, we, we need to understand two terms. Okay, the state and the assets. Okay, state and assets are different. Uh, in general, we say the states, uh, it will be something that you can process for a certain period of time. Okay, of course, Normally, we would consider as a real estate. And however, the assets on the other hand is different. As your assets generally include in everything, you can convert it to cash or to money stuff. Okay. So, for those famous person like Bill Gates from Microsoft, right? They, their assets. Yeah, it could be billions of dollars, 
But if you if we are talking about the states, okay, that would <coughs> generally indicate that the particular resident, okay, no matter it's a couple of million or you know over ten thousand, uh, ten million. Okay, next on the page one, we're gonna start it. The real estate business. The first thing we need to understand is the rolling, the general rolling stuff. Okay, um, chapter one, we only give you a general idea. Yeah, on the chapter seven, when we talk about the government land control or public <coughs> land control. We will give you uh, some more in details. Okay, first, the type of real estate. Uh, we need to understand those uh, abbreviations, like R1, C1, W1, RA, MU, that stand for. Of course, R1 uh, stand for like a single family residence, okay? And C1 is for commercial, it's for the uh, your daily life commercial business, such as uh, you go to the bank, right? Uh, you go to the barber shop, buy some uh, grocery, do some laundry, or you go to the title company, you go to real estate company, those type of general business related to your daily life that's uh, classified as C1 commercial. And for residential, of course, we still have R1, R4, R8, R16. Okay, right now, just give you a general idea. The number, the larger the number, that means the more high density, more complex. Okay. And we have RU, like uh, <coughs> urban residential, for urban residential stuff. And also, there's a RR. The rural residential up to four units of the volume. Okay, then the state exam. Whenever you see this check mark, that's then for that's the state exam. Uh, last year we have like a Ronin C3. Okay. Commercial does the from C1 to C3. Okay. Uh, C2 is more. Uh, more complex uh, commercial stuff, for example, uh, like a dancing studio or a dancing studio or like uh, uh, you practice your uh, shotgun stuff. And C3, okay, that's the exam question. What is the C3 stand for? C3, uh, in general, is called unlimited commercial, which will be like a, a machine shop, big machine shop, a factory, and okay, more complex, so, so unlimited commercial. Okay, industrial, uh, also there's a W1, STEM4, agricultural, the RA, and mixed use, okay, by, by the name, mixed, right? So it's a residential with a commercial. And uh, the last one, special purpose, uh, which means like a hospital, a military church, those type of uh, running. And also, okay, another exam question, from last year, it's uh, like a, uh, it's very general, like uh, the percentage of California agricultural land, uh, which I believe is like 33.5%. And also there's another two you need to understand, the MUD, which is a mixed use. Uh, what is mixed use? Like a high rise building. And PUD uh, stands for Plan Use Development. 
Uh, we will talk about the PUD later on the ownership uh, chapter three, because before you can fully understand what is the PUD, you need to understand the title, the ownership stuff. Otherwise, it would be a little bit difficult to get the idea. However, MUD is easier to understand. Okay, I give you a, a picture. Right, if you travel to Las Vegas, uh, that's a very famous uh, rear tower. Okay, uh, you can investment there for start, starting from like a quarter of a million dollar up to you know over one million dollar for uh, like a two bedroom or three bedroom. Okay, that's the mixed use. Why? Because uh, you can have office. You can purchase a unit. You can rent a unit. You can you can open an office in the building. Okay. You can rent it as like an apartment, a one bedroom or a studio. So that's called mixed use. You can live or you can do uh, not really retail okay, you can do in like an office space so that's mix mix use okay that probably give you a good idea easier to remember next uh, we're gonna understand the supply and demand in the real estate business uh, real estate is different from other commercial commodity. So there's uh, some unique feature. First is its uniqueness, and the second is immobility. So uniqueness that means, uh, for example, this building in this entire world. If you purchase this building, nobody can get the same location as you have. So there's no two parcel, in other words, okay, there's no two parcel are uh, exactly alike. Okay, there's no two buildings, no two lot, no two parcel are uh, exactly the same, the same position. Okay, that's the first called uniqueness. The second one called immobility. Uh, because this <laughs> state, uh, if you consider as a commodity, is different from any other product like this uh, table, this television you can order from Shenzhen, China, right? By high speed uh, cargo container. You place the order, uh, they might ship uh, next week. Then the high speed. Uh, Cargo container would arrive LA within seven days nowadays. However, the real estate, the house uh, was different. Okay, for example, in California, in LA area, now in general, it took 17 months to build a house. You can start from the scratch, your blueprint. Uh, 17 months until you finish the construction and inspection everything so that's very different okay very different from those uh, commercial products okay you can always order you can always ship from the other warehouse but real estate property is different so it's a very unique uniqueness it's immobile as a matter of fact, in Spanish, they call uh, real estate, uh, real estate. Uh, they also call it like an immobile something. Okay. okay, next we're gonna talk about is the factor that affect the supply. Supply, okay, general commercial, uh, it's kind of similar to general uh, commercial product, okay, uh, <coughs> for the <coughs> house. Uh, you need labor force, you need to have construction costs, that's for sure. And the most important uh, <clears throat> point is the government control and so-called financial policy. 
Okay, it was in the United States, of course, that's a fact. Uh, we need to uh, understand a little bit the FAT system, okay? Federal Reserve System. FAT control the printing of the Uncle Sam, printing of the monies. Yeah. Okay, the famous, uh, as the past uh, couple of years, the FAT using so called QE3, QE4. Okay, they print a huge amount of the money. Okay, although uh, I like to mention, Fed is not directly as part of the federal government. Although they are not really part of the federal government, but they control the printing of the money. So you may under, uh, you may wonder why. Uh, in particular, in California, uh, why the real estate uh, the price going up so much on the past a couple of years, while the whole United States, our economic, not as good real estate. A very simple uh, answer to you, but. Right? But I print a lot of money, that's the pressure. No matter how bad your business economics is, inflation. So your $1 million home will become $2 million. Uh, maybe it will become $3 million. Okay. Uh, for the poor person, uh, in my point of view, it's really bad okay, for our country. Okay. Uh, <coughs> especially since last economic crisis, financial crisis, our middle class being wiped out, being ripped off, all our money being ripped off. Now, Fed. I uh, give you another kick that you draw, right? <clears throat> you print so many money. So the rich person or our big boss, no matter they lost on the last uh, <coughs> economic crisis, but they can still stand up. For middle class, you depend on your pay. You lost your house, you may not have another chance within the next 10 or 20 years. So that's one thing bad. And I also like to point out uh, that would not only uh, take your money away, that would take our peaceful country order away. So now you can see more robbery, more violence, more homeless, etc. more criminal. <laughs> okay, that's the factor that affects supply. Uh, you need to understand. Okay, uh, most important is by government or so-called financial policy. Uh, in, within the United States, which is the Fed. Although the test question, it was say, uh, our mortgage rate, which is not influenced by the Fed, or not determined by the Fed's policy, <clears throat> okay, it's uh, influenced by so-called monetary market. Okay, next we need to understand the factor that affects the demand. Okay. Uh, that would be uh, similar to uh, most of our other commercial products. Okay, you need to have a uh, good population. Okay. 
you need to have the demographics that that will affect the demand. Uh, population is easy to understand, right? Uh, in China, you have over a billion of person, of course, probably in the, uh, uh, several million uh, single house, that's for sure. Uh, demographics, you need to understand a little bit, uh, which is related to, of course, it's related to a human being. For the person, uh, you can characterize by uh, like a nationality or their income label or their education label or their <clears throat> uh, whatever, the business, their profession. Uh, why, why do we need to know demographics? Okay, if you want to do in a successful top sales, okay, in particular uh, in a commercial for that, okay, you need to give your customer demographics. For example, in Arcadia, right, or <clears throat> in Arcadia versus somewhere uh, in the countryside, you need to show them, right, the income label. Their profession label, their education label, uh, their business owner percentage in Arcadia was, let make one case, like 60% versus on the countryside, maybe only 10%. Right? You want to sell this office building? Of course, you need to give them uh, <clears throat> this uh, statistic called demographics. Okay, last part, employment and wage label. Of course, that's the most important for even the uh, exam question if they ask you what affect the demand of the real estate. Because <clears throat> in particular in California, uh, every single uh, family house would easily run uh, up to one, uh, I mean, starting from like a half million to, you know, in general, like a one million in Arcadia or San Marino area, Pasadena. It, it, it was even higher in like San Jose. Right? Okay, that's the factor, uh, the fact that demand and the factor, the fact that supply, you need to uh, <coughs> understand about it. Okay, that's the, and, and another word, two characteristics governs the real estate. Uniqueness and immobility. And also you need to uh, familiar with this word, non-homogeneity. Okay. In, in some of the textbook, uh, you might see this word, non is not, right? Homo is the same, so it's not the same kind. Uniqueness, okay. In the state exam, it might, it might uh, appear in the multiple choice, right? non homogeneity Not the same kind. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm gonna <clears throat> jump to the next page, page two. Okay, uh, the first uh, real, real estate license law. Uh, in North America, in all 50 states of the United States, in, including District of Columbia, which is the White House area, uh, the East Coast, the White House, <coughs> located, that's called District of Columbia. And all Canadian provinces, Canada, they, uh, both countries have the uh, <coughs> similar real estate license law. Uh, the law, okay, first, 
The law is com coming from the Constitution of the 10th Amendment. The 10th Amendment gives it to the state you have a right to have your own uh, state law. Okay. Of course, that would include uh, <clears throat> refer to our real estate business as a license law. Uh, what is license law? Okay. It's simply asking you to take the exam, to take the class, get the license, then you can start to do your real estate business for compensation, uh, which most likely nowadays is commission. <clears throat> okay, the law comes from uh, Tenth Amendment of Constitution give each state has the right to do the police power. What is police power? Is the state government. You can make a law to enforce the order, safety, health, morale, and welfare. But most important, remember, is for the public safety, for the public order. Okay, that's the uh, uh, <coughs> real estate law comes from. Okay. And next, uh, other than uh, real estate law, we need to understand the MLS, Multiple Listing Service. multiple MLS and NAR. Of course, in California, we have, instead of National Association of Realtor, California, we have California Association of Realtor. Uh, <clears throat> be careful when you use in the Realtor, the word Realtor, or NAR because uh, <clears throat> those are registered trademark <clears throat> from the NAR Association of National Realtor. Uh, <clears throat> in the real life as well as in the uh, state exam, uh, they will always ask you if you violate uh, <clears throat> the, the uh, trademark using the real tool, uh, even even after you pass the uh, state exam, even you get a California real estate license, okay, you still cannot use in this word unless okay you join the NAR association and you the lecture uh, normally two days after you finish you're done then they give you <coughs> a certificate then you can put you can say you are the real tour and you can put on your business card or advertisement say you are real tour okay anyway uh, remember okay <coughs> Uh, even for the state exam, and <clears throat> when you when you take in the lecture from NAR, they will tell you this word. It pronounced as real tour, not real tour. Okay, they will tell you real tour. Okay, in uh, in California, uh, for example, in LA area, uh, we have more, not just California Association of Real Tour, we have Acadia Association of Real Tour, we have San Gabriel, and we have uh, Warners. But, <clears throat> but anyway, that's the way it is in California. Okay, also remember this word, NAR, stands for National Association of Real Tour. That's a registration trademark.
Okay, Paris power. Okay, <clears throat> Paris power. This comes from tenth amendment of our constitution. Okay, that's uh, where it comes from, from the constitution. Uh, what does it fit for? It's for public safety, health, moral welfare. Okay, in, in other words, it is the law. If the state government, they can do something for the public. For those stuff. Okay, the last uh, taking. Okay, taking is also comes from the Constitution, but it was comes from Fifth Amendment of the uh, U.S. Constitution. Uh, taking. Okay, taking. I I take your stuff away. So that's called taking. No, I'm just kidding. The government, if government take your property away, uh, later we call by con uh, condemnation. And our constitution say the government need give you something for compensation. Okay, for example, in Arcadia, the government <coughs> because we're gonna build highway, so <coughs> the government takes your property, right? So they need to give you a certain amount, reasonable amount, fair amount of the money for compensation. Okay, that's called taking the law. Comes from the <coughs> our constitution. The government has to do that. And again, <coughs> okay, for the, all the te test question, it has to be for public. Okay, for <coughs> for public, like uh, we're gonna build airport. We're gonna build school, we're gonna build highway, so they can take your property, but they need to give you the taking. Okay, uh, on chapter three, we will give more further detail on eminent domain stuff. <coughs>